Now to our big story at nine, a protest in prison. Inmates at Wapan Correctional Institution stage a sit-in protest over the conditions of their confinement. They tell our Sam Kramer tonight that conditions have not improved since the warden and eight other employees were arrested. While it's quiet outside the walls of Wisconsin's oldest prison. The Northwest cell hall is all outside doing a peaceful, a peaceful protest and they not going back in their cell. Inmates like Sean Rousey and Jermaine Smith Capoeira tell a much different story from the inside. They're saying that we are taking advantage of the situation because we saw the warden on the news yesterday. On Wednesday, the Dodge County Sheriff announced criminal charges against the former warden and eight other employees for failing to meet the basic needs of prisoners who died in their care. Smith Capoeira, who's serving a life sentence for first degree intentional homicide, tells us the inmates are receiving cold meals while not getting access to proper medical care. All we simply want is for the prison to go back to normal operations. They were sentenced to prison. They weren't sentenced to a life of living hell. Um, and they weren't sentenced to a life of degradation and abuse and neglect. That's not what this, this country is about. Attorney Lonnie Story is representing current inmates and the families of some who died at Wapan Correctional in separate lawsuits. He says the state should close the facility in favor of a different, more modern approach. It was established 10 years before the Civil War and it's literally uh, registered as a National Historic Site. The latest available data shows about 43% of the jobs here at Wapan Correctional Institution remain open. We did reach out to the Wisconsin Department of Corrections for a comment on the protest. We did not hear back in time for this story. Reporting in Wapan, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News.